belong, I belong to you. What's up everyone? Well, welcome back to Teeth Talk. I'd like to preface this by saying thank you to everyone for your positive feedback on my previous Teeth Talk. I'm happy to help you all out. I am happy to give answer to all of your questions and I thought I'm gonna do this as a successor to Teeth Talk number one. All right, so I'm just gonna go through the questions that were asked on my previous video. That thumbnail looks so disgusting, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna use this as my new thumbnail so I don't have to do it again. <laughs> How much does your appearance change? I remember the first time when I got the Herbs Appliance on and I looked in the mirror and I saw this, I was like, wow, that's big. That's what she said. <laughs> but then after a while, I noticed that literally nobody's asking about it. Whenever I was in public, whenever I saw a friend, nobody asked about it. Compared to Invisalign, everybody was like, what are you taking out of your mouth? But this, even when I laugh, even whatever I'm doing, nobody sees it, so. Props for that. So one person asks, <laughs> hmm, this is a very weird question that you probably can't answer. Well then don't answer, don't ask if you think I can't answer, but do you think it could affect a girl's oral sex life? Um, yeah. <laughs> Maybe ask your orthodontist and see how he responds. Like, well, how would I know? <laughs> That's what she said. Or he said. I just got mine with the normal braces I have. When I got home, I really started crying and stuff. Well, that's true. When you first get them on, I remember the first half an hour, I wasn't able to speak because I thought that something is just like moving my jaw whenever I was talking. But I don't even notice, I don't even think that you can still notice, do I still have a lisp? I think I still have a lisp because I'm pretty sure that when once I get my lingual braces off and once I get everything off, that it, my speech will be different compared to right now. But I think it improved drastically. And yeah, you, everyone will get used to it. I don't think you can see it though. I mean, you can see this a little bit right here, but I think most of the time, most of the time you can't see it, especially compared to Invisalign, you have to take it out or rubber bands. You have to take them out before you eat. Talking about eating, somebody, talk, uh, somebody asked me if there is a weight loss connected to uh, lingual braces and the herbs appliance. I got my lingual braces in February. I was weighing 74 kilograms <laughs> and uh, cur <laughs> currently I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm at 86 <laughs> so, so I cannot approve that there is uh, so I don't see a connection between lingual braces, herbs appliance and weight loss at least in my case <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing. <laughs> the only thing that's still bothering me because I've been having it for a couple of months now is the the gaps that I have. That's just annoying because every time I laugh, I know that people are seeing it. <laughs> a lot of people, I, I ask my friends about them, they're saying they don't see it, but I think they see it. Do they numb you? No, they don't. Isn't metal in the mouth bad for your health? I hope not. I'm getting mine because I have over jet and I need top braces and herbs. Will I need teeth pulled? <laughs> How do I know? <laughs> also, in what cases do you need a palatal expander? Because my sister is scared. Because <laughs> the dentist said she is getting an appliance. I'm not an orthodontist. I'm studying marketing. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, but that's very sweet. I'm, I'm trying my best to give answers to this. Uh, yeah, ask your orthodontist. I think he might know about this. The herbs is the best option for my teeth and I'm thinking of getting one, but I just want to ask, can you talk the same as before and how long does it take to speak normally? I think I still have a lisp because of lingual braces. I don't think I have the lisp because of the herbs appliance. I don't, I don't think it actually affects your speech as much. I will get the same braces like you have. Thanks for the video and greetings from Germany. I am also from Germany. And I also, that person happens to be from Cologne. I'm also from Cologne. So that's funny. Hi, do you have any tips on how to brush your teeth? So basically I brush my teeth in the morning and at night and then at night I brush them for like 10 minutes in the morning. I don't have time for that. So in, my, in the morning I just use the electric toothbrush. I think everyone who's using a non-electric toothbrush is making a mistake. It's not comparable to, to be honest in my opinion. So if you take an electric toothbrush, what I do, one thing that's important, I also mentioned that a couple of times, that you keep, you have to switch your brush every like two months because the brush 
splits up after you use it for a while and then it's like because it's plastic it gets very sharp and it's as if you're brushing your teeth with a knife and because you're brushing your teeth so many times when you have braces you need to switch them up because otherwise it will it, it will damage your gum so what i do in the morning i use mouth water and i use an electric toothbrush and i brush them for like two minutes maybe three minutes at night i use these sticks i can't i can't floss that's just gonna take way too much time so i'm using these sticks to get out all of the food out of the teeth and then i use rinse water mouth water whatever it's called and then i brush my teeth for like two and a half minutes that takes five minutes and i repeat the whole circle so i do that two times just to make sure that everything is clean because i feel like if i did it one time it's not super clean especially at night i think during the day it's fine if it's not super super clean but at night um i was told that your your mouth should be like super clean i have two holes in my cheeks that's what you said it hurts so much that shouldn't be the case i never had that um go see your orthodontist what were the biggest challenges after getting the herbs did you get an expander too no i did not get an expander um biggest challenges once i got the herbs i remember the first day it was very very painful i felt like somebody punched me in the face or something i had like huge headache one thing i'm doing i'm if you're practicing martial arts because i'm doing kickbox thai kickboxing and luta lever and if you're doing some other kind of martial arts whenever you're sparring you can't wear mouth guard so whenever we're sparring i have to tell them and if you have been sparring two or three people and you just feel like oh they know they already know and then somebody else comes and you just forget because you're tired or and you just already told them a couple of times and that person happens to not know it then um that can get painful very quickly also with luta livre if somebody's um putting pressure on your head then <laughs> yeah that hurts with soccer same thing if you get a football if somebody shoots a soccer ball in your face and you have a herbs appliance and um and lingual braces that can also have never happened to me yet so uh i'm happy that that never happened i hope it never happens but that is actually not it it happens to me quite a, a lot with martial arts, but um, as long as you tell everyone about it, then they're fine. They're not gonna do anything. No one's gonna punch you in the face if you tell them that you have something in your face, so that's fine. I think that concludes all of the questions that are online, at least on my last video or the ones that I just found. Just to round things up one more time, I got lingual braces in February, which is already eight months ago, and I got the herbs appliance, I don't remember, probably like three or four months ago, something like that. In conclusion, I think this is the easiest to ever that I ever had. I had um, Invisalign for two and a half years and I got lingual braces with rubber bands. These always pop up in your head whenever you're eating, whenever, you're, when, whenever something is connected to your mouth. But this combination feels like as if, it feels as if you don't have braces at all because when I'm eating, I'm not taking out anything. I, I'm just eating, which compared to rubber bands or, or uh, Invisalign, you have to do it all the time. In restaurants, at school, wherever you are in public, it's not the coolest thing ever. And then also Invisalign, what, what do you put them? You put them in a, in a um, what's it called, napkin. And then you brush your teeth as if you don't have braces. Brushing your teeth takes way longer. That's also something to be considered. But in general, um, you don't notice it and that's what i love so much about it thank you very much for your uh for your positive feedback thank you very much for asking questions leave all the questions that you have in the comments below i will answer them in the comments below and then i will make a new video answering the questions that you commented so that everybody will hear about it just like at this did in this teeth talk let me know what you want to see next are you just here for teeth or do you also want to see vlogs or do you just want to see me play the piano i see you guys next time. My name is Eli Team Vlog. Peace! Give like and follow. <laughs> <laughs>